join the party. Have a hearty glass of Hi everybody, it's Adam. Today I'm going to show you a special recipe for Thanksgiving. This is my no-bake pumpkin pie. A lot of times during Thanksgiving you've got that turkey in the oven all day and it's really not reasonable to think that you're going to have room for pies. This pie you cook on the stove top for like five minutes, mix it all together, and then you've got a pie that's ready to go. So let's get started. I've got a small saucepan right here. I'm going to add one cup of heavy cream. To my saucepan next, I'm going to add three tablespoons of orange juice. This will add a lot of light, sweet, bright flavor to the pumpkin pie. And now I'm going to add two-thirds of a cup of white granulated sugar. Now a tablespoon of really good vanilla extract. Next, it's time to add my spices. I'm not really a big fan of the pumpkin spice packets because you cannot control the different spices that are going in there. I'm using cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and cloves. I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of each. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Half a teaspoon of ginger and half a teaspoon of ground cloves. And now half of a teaspoon of salt, just to bring out all the flavors. Now I'm gonna add two teaspoons of unflavored gelatin. This is what it looks like. It's what jello is made of, only there's no flavoring in it. This is what's gonna make everything stick together and give it that pumpkin pie consistency without baking it. They come in little packets like this, and I'm just going to add two teaspoons right into my pan. And now I'm going to add three egg yolks to my pan. Just gonna get rid of the egg white by tossing it back and forth in the shell and right into the pan. All right, up until this point, all I've been doing is shoving my ingredients into this saucepan, really easy. Now I'm just gonna give it a quick whisk and then cook it on medium heat for five minutes, just to give the gelatin a little bit of time to set. You wanna make sure your egg mixture gets hot, but not boiling. While my cream and egg mixture is on the stove, I'm gonna open up one can of pumpkin puree, not pie filling, very important difference. I'm just gonna open it up and put it into my KitchenAid mixer. All right, my egg and cream mixture is hot, but it's not simmering, not boiling. I'm going to take it off the stove and add it to my pumpkin that's in my mixer. Now that I've got my hot mixture in with my pumpkin puree, the gentle heat from the egg mixture is going to cook the pumpkin just enough. I'm going to lock down my mixer with my paddle attachment and mix it on medium speed just for a few seconds until everything is combined. And 
now it's time to add it to my pie crust. It's time to add my pie filling to my pie crust. I made a graham cracker crust earlier. You can find the recipe on my other YouTube video for key lime pie. And like I said then, I like to use an aluminum pie pin because with a gelatinous pie like this, you can kind of bend and warp it just so that when you cut the pieces, they're perfect. I'm just gonna take the filling and dump it right into the crust. All right, you have just made a really easy, really delicious pie in less than 10 minutes, no oven needed, and the only thing left to do is to stick it in the fridge for four or five hours so the gelatin can kind of make it that great custardy consistency, and you won't have to worry about shoving it in there with the turkey. I took my pumpkin pie out of the refrigerator after about four hours and now it's ready to serve. If you wanted to leave it in there all day until dinner, you totally could, but it's perfect for Thanksgiving. It takes less than 10 minutes to make. You're not cluttering up your oven because you've already got the turkey, the stuffing, and the vegetables in there. And it's really delicious and no one will ever be able to tell the difference that you didn't bake it in an oven. Thanks so much for watching everybody. This recipe and others is available on my website, adamcrowcatering.com, and watch for more episodes of my cooking show, Cook with Adam, on YouTube. See you next time. Come on, join the party, have a hearty glass of rum.